plans to stage the popular Lambeth Street Party Brixton Splash this summer have fallen through after Lambeth Council turned down an application due to concerns over public safety. The annual event, which has been running since 2006, aims to celebrate the cultural diversity and history of the South West London neighbourhood. Ros Griffiths is one of the festival's founders and pleased to say joins us this evening. Ros, very good to have you with us. Thank you. How are you feeling about the news that the festival will not be going ahead this year? I think it's fair to say it's not cancelled. I would say it's a pause in the history of Bricks and Splash to um, review and to plan the way forward for 2017. Um, and I think that's uh, considering when it started in 2006, it started with a few thousand um, people celebrating um, Brixton, its culture, its history. Um, last year saw numbers in excess of 45,000. So I think it's fair to say we need to pause. Um, considering the numbers, um, it, it, it brings with uh, it its challenges. And um, so you have to pause and review and plan the way forward. You say that and yet Chinese New Year festival celebrations took place this weekend, an event which has seen a growing number of people turn out year on year and that hasn't resulted in the event being paused, so why Brixton Splash? Well there were a number of concerns raised um, by Land of Council in terms of health and safety issues and um, if there are concerns uh, around health and safety, the council has a duty of care first of all to the visitors and the people that live there if they're feeling that the event is unsafe or they're unease um, we it has to be addressed it has to be and there were concerns around health and safety that has to be addressed and um, it's for the community to face those challenges and rise to those challenges and um, plan the way forward mm. so other events they may have a different infrastructure but it was clear that the council felt that there are major concerns and it needs to, to be addressed before going forward. The organising committee of Bricks and Splash argued that they weren't given enough notice to discuss how to deal with some of the safety concerns which you mentioned there. Is that fair? I don't know about the discussions because I left Bricks and Splash in 2010 having ran the, the event successfully for five years. and. An event that's growing rapidly every year, it has its challenges um, and you have to meet those challenges. It's the infrastructure it costs money, um, people are running it voluntary, you know, so there are issues uh, and it has to be addressed and the, the council would have probably looked at the pros and cons and I don't think they've come to that decision lightly. They have to, they have a duty of care, health and safety is paramount. And uh, unless you have the um, a robust infrastructure to accommodate um, numbers of 45,000 plus, nobody's going to feel safe at that event. Mm. And if that's the issue, um, the council has to listen to the community, its businesses, and I think that is where uh, you know the council uh, has decided that it's best to pause it, review and plan the way forward. Does it not reflect a worrying trend if an event which is uh, initially organised to celebrate cultural diversity and history of Brixton has to be paused, as you say, for a year? Is that not quite concerning? No, because just like anything, if you, you don't know where you're going, you know, you just can't just keep rolling because it's popular. You have to review it, um, look at what needs improvement. Brixton Splash needs improvement, it needs development. And, um, and that is the right decision to pause it for this year and review it, plan better for next year, more resources, get more people involved. Brixton has changed since 2006. More people want to get involved in Brixton Splash. So there are people who want to take a stake and they should be allowed to yeah. um, because Brixton is about the people. There's so much talent there. It's a local event for local people and local suppliers. And, and visitors who come to Brixton must feel safe. It cannot be compromised.